How you doing, everybody? Uh, Randy Richard in the shop. This is uh, the final part, probably, uh, for the road tiller. Uh, the assembly of getting that shaft and gear all put together and put in, the seals set, and uh, tines on. So, uh, pretty much that's what the video should be all about. And, uh, and then we'll, uh, yeah, maybe I'll be able to get some, see it running or something. <laughs> But pretty much that's what it's going to be about getting it all put to get back together so uh thanks a lot thanks for watching thanks for sharing uh, uh thanks for sticking with the series here it's a little, little bit different a little repair work <laughs> so uh thanks a lot guys so we need to make a couple gaskets here for the rotor tiller one for this flange uh, this is the outer bearing race and then there's a seal that goes in there so I already made this one. It goes right on there like that. And that'll be just perfect. So we need to make another one. Thought I'd show you how I do this. Uh, they come out pretty doggone nice. So I need a smaller one for this one. So I already measured the OD of this. So I need a radius of one and three eighths. I've already set my gasket cutter razor blade, actually it's a utility knife blade, and uh, my little pointer. Now that's just a piston fit, there's no magnet or anything in there, it just fits perfect in there. And So I loosen the knob, slide it. This is aluminum, aluminum and steel for the inners here. Uh, I anodized them all. Anyway, piece of, this is the center from the other gasket. That's a gasket. For, it's good for something. Throw it in the box. Now, something like this, it's always really best to punch the holes first uh, if you can lay it out, but um, I can do this gentle enough to get those without splitting the gasket. And because I don't have the measurements, I mean, I don't, I don't know the bolt circle. I had figured it out, but, but I can do this without it. So we're looking at one and three quarters, so half plus three eighths, right? So seven eighths of an inch. Oh, I, that's like at the right there. Double check that. There we go. Oh, perfect fit. Then we'll uh, see if we can. See, see how the back sides, you can't use the back side for layout really, the three holes. So we'll just, uh, just can take the ball, the ball peen hammer, and uh, just kind of press on those holes and get a mark where they're at. Here we go, we got, we got marks where they're at. And I'm just gonna take my uh, little punch and uh, punch them out. Okay, punched out. Here we go, perfect fit, new gasket. Now, 
on gaskets like this, uh, these thin paper ones, I like to uh, use something on them, a uh, little something to keep them moist, and they'll last a lot longer and seal better. Um, not that stuff. What I like to use is there's a couple products. This is a Dow Corning 111 or Dow Corning 4. Uh, it's called DC4, DC111. Uh, this is a silicone sealant. This is pretty thick, and the uh, DC4 is a little thinner. Um, this is a valve lubricant sealant, um, but it works great on gaskets like this uh, to seal and uh, keep them sealed and keep them moist from getting too dried out and stuff. So uh, I like this stuff. Just put it in your fingers and you rub it on. Works really good. So we'll just do that. You can see how thick this stuff is. I just moisten both sides of the gasket. And stick it on. Okay, we'll just put these on there. Hopefully I lined up the holes. There we go. Okay. Those are ready to go. Here's a, here's a gasket crunch set I have. Uh, I also have some other, but this is a set. It's pretty nice. It goes from 5 sixteenths up to 1 inch. Uh, they just, you got your, uh, hand, your arbor basically. And the punches with a little O-ring, just it just slips right on there. A little arc, what they're called arc punches. This one's a, this is a, actually, this is a snap-on kit, this one. PGH-8A. It's the, our blue point, I should say. Uh, but made in the USA, up in Wisconsin. Great, I've had this kit a long time. Great kit, great. Okay, I've slipped the shaft together with the bearings and the gear. Uh, they just... You know, just slide on, just a little, a little tapping with the hammer, but they just basically slip right on. Just perfect fits. Uh, so that'll be the shaft going in. Ah, so I'm ready to put the seals in. I, uh, I'm going to use this O-ring lube. This is a Dow Corning 55. And uh, just put a little bit on the inner part of the seal to help it slide a little easier. A little bit on the shaft. Okay, we're going to put a little thread sealant. This is uh, Loctite 545. And I'm just going to put a little bit around the edge of this. This will help seal the outer part of this. You'll still be able to get it out. Alright, put a piece of packing tape over it. Let's try this again. I wiped all that off. Huh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we got a pizza, an inch and a half uh, PVC here.
basically flush. <laughs> Okay, I'm um, gonna do the same on the uh, other side now. That's perfect. That's what I cleaned up already. A little flapper wheel. A little scrub in there. Okay, all cleaned up. Okay, we got new keys. We're gonna put on anyway. All right, never seize. These things, uh, you know, really kind of what I would consider rough service. We use the rototiller a lot. Uh, big garden. We have actually three gardens this year. One is 40 by 40, one's 20 by 10, the other one's 10 by 10. So, lots of garden space. Tap those in. Bolts, never seized on threads. Well, that part's done. Like I said, that's the only part because 